Welcome everybody back to View and Passion. Another day of seven days to die. Another today in our Let's Build series, and Passion and I have something new for you. We are going to show you a little slideshow of how we've made our new building, and we'll talk about it afterward. So without further ado, here we go! And as you can see, Pash and I have brought you a bridge. Now we decided that we wanted to make a bridge that had a nice feel to it and uh, using the game materials. So this is what we brought you. Now you notice that we went uh, step by step mo moving up the uh, bridge and we decided that we wanted to build it out of uh, a slightly different material. We wanted to make it look like it was hanging frameworks and, and uh, wires. So here's what we came up with, and in order to make the framework strong enough, you have to build the uh, trussing underneath, and uh, you have to build it up pretty well. Now we took and spanned this, and we used these little concrete ramps and uh, steel, pillar, steel pillars at the sides, closing it off, giving it a nice arched feel. Do, 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 do. Now we built this mostly out of trussing. And uh, here we go, we'll look down underneath the water. And you'll notice we use that uh, step up pyramid way of, uh, or sort of inverse pyramid way of going up there to support from underneath. When, uh, when you do this, you can actually extend the uh, distance that the uh, blocks will hold considerably and uh, increase the overall weight that they'll hold above them as well. Looking around, the tower's on the outside. We've got. Uh, the uh, overhead suspension there. The overhead suspension wasn't quite as strong because I didn't use the trussing quite as much. Uh, that was just aesthetics. And, you know, just a bridge seemed kind of boring, so on the other side we brought you another little surprise. Going along and running through. The bridge feels really solid and I think it has a good profile on the water. Uh, we haven't decided yet what we want to do with lighting, so that is lacking currently. And at some point I might want to connect the uh, upper trussing down with the side of the bridge. Now you can see that I used the uh, scrap iron ramps to give it a look of cables. Here we've got you a little army base, a little toll booth at the end, surrounded with spikes and a little barbed wire, you know, the sandbags. And we built a tent, and let me tell ya, this is a little house and a fence, but the tent's on the other side. Tents in this game are a pain to build, uh, particularly camo tents. We started with one of those and it just didn't work out. So we just went with a nice canvas tent here view of the uh, place. Filled it up with some supply crates and everything. And it's not the sturdiest base in the world, but it is nice and uh, it's nice and pleasing aesthetically. Gives, you, gives the base a good look, I think. And yeah, looking back here. I think it really looks good against the water in the background sky, but uh, yeah. The game comes with a bridge in this location, and we decided it just looked rather lackluster, so uh, this is what we put in its place. If you guys, uh, you know, like what you've seen here today, and if you uh, like the slideshow, please leave us a note in the comments, and I uh, really hope you enjoyed this, because we really did. Uh, like and subscribe. Fashion View, signing off.